Hi, I'm Reyna, and uh, this is I Like It Hard, where I review hard copies of things that I enjoy. Um, today I'm talking about this lady, and uh, anyone who knows me even a little bit knows that I've been a PJ Harvey fan for almost as long as I've been alive. I really, um, she's the only artist I've really stuck with forever um, in terms of how much I appreciate her output. And there are artists that I will follow forever, but I don't always enjoy everything they've ever put out, where I, I have to say even my least favorite album in her repertoire is still an album that I love, and that's a really rare kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to sit here, I, oh my goodness, this is my stack of Polly Harvey hard copy madness. I'm not going to go through all of that. Um, this is actually, oh, I'll talk about this in a second, because that relates to this. This came in the mail, and uh, this was a surprise find that I have been vying for, probably since it came out uh, in 1996. Um, but, so, been a PJ Harvey fan for a long time, focused a lot on music, um, didn't get a lot of PJ Harvey swag. There isn't a lot of PJ Harvey swag in America. Uh, you can't go into a store really and just find a To Bring You My Love t-shirt, which I used to have a To Bring You My Love t-shirt, but it somehow got lost. I, I literally have clothing from when I was seven years old. I have this Fantastic Four t-shirt that they got like an extra extra large. I still own that, but I cannot for the life of me keep a PJ Harvey t-shirt. I think I've had three and they're, they've all disappeared. Anyway, but what's important is the music and all of the wonderful albums that she and her other, her co-collaborators have brought us. But, um, yeah, this, this today is, um, is kind of fun because we have been redoing our house and for the longest time, one of the upstairs bedrooms we used to use as a library where we keep, where we kept all our books. And this PJ Harvey poster was on the ceiling. Um, well, it's like a slanted ceiling, so kind of ceiling wall. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And it was, it, it was getting a little ratty and what's kind of ironic is well, I had gone into Newberry Comics when this went up on the wall. You know how they do those big, the big pictures of the albums when they come out. And I wanted it just because I was like, what? Uh, has anyone claimed the giant PJ Harvey and John Parrish poster in the window? And they're like, no. I'm like, I'll take it. So I've had this since the album came out, or a little after the album came out. But the irony is that it, this is actually, and I love A Man and Woman Walked By. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Out of all of the albums that PJ has worked on, it's probably my least favorite out of the whole album. I listen to it the least. There are some songs in there that I totally, totally adore. But as a whole piece, it's probably the one I put on the least amount. And so it's kind of funny that I have this gigantic, ridiculous poster. But now I have another one to replace it with. And you must be saying, how can that be? That does not look like a poster. Well, this is like a two-in-one kind of deal for me. Um... When this came out, I, I heard about it because I used to subscribe to a lot of uh, European music magazines like Vox and The Face and stuff like that, and this was announced. And It's a PJ Harvey vinyl, which I don't own any PJ Harvey vinyl. I have cassette tapes, I've got CDs, uh, digital, obviously, um, but I have never gotten a PJ Harvey vinyl. They're not cheap. They haven't reissued a lot of her albums, uh, and um, the ones that are out there... I think um, Hope Sick Demolition Project and To Bring You My Love are most readily available for $20 or $30. Never prioritized it. I was, If I was to kind of dip into the vinyl realm of Polly Harvey, it would probably be For Rid of Me, which is my favorite PJ Harvey album. Um, which is it's hard to say, but that is my favorite. But this is a single for, uh, why don't I just open it? And I'll show you why. But this is so, this is ridiculous. Let me tell you right now. I got this for real cheap, um, real cheap, I got this for r really cheap, um, I think someone, no, <sighs> I don't know how I got this for really cheap, because I've seen it go up before, and it usually goes for a shit ton of money, and I never, I'm not one to spend a shit ton of money on, uh, much of anything, um, my expendable income is kept at a, at a minimum, I like to try and save, I'm a saver, uh, obviously. <laughs> More ways than one. Um, but... Oh. So this is not only my first PJ Harvey vinyl, it's my first PJ Harvey picture disc. This is pretty cool. It's a tiny little baby. It's a tiny little baby of a CD. Look at us, a tiny little baby. I'm so excited. It's just, um, you know, 
just a 45. Let's look at it. But that's, I mean, the single's really cool. This is really cool, but that's not why this is amazing. Um, I'll, t I'll show you that in a minute. Check it out. We've got, um, oh, this is so neat. Oh, I think I spent 20 bucks on this. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a single for To Bring You My Love and Long Time Coming. It's a evening session version, which I've never heard, which is so cool. Um, when, when you're a fan of an artist and you follow them very closely and then you find something you've never heard or seen before, it's really exciting. Um, I recently just got a John Parrish album that I didn't have, and she's on there. Uh, she's doing vocals on one song. And I was like, wow, I've never heard this. It's like, you know, once you mind the mind the depths of an artist that you enjoy and you find something that's new to you, it's like a little gem. Well, this is old news, but such such a, a, a new new thing. This This is like one of those, wow, I wish I could have that thing that I'll never have kind of deals. Um, but, so this is a poster, and it's fucking huge, okay? Um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put this, or even how I'm going to fold it back up after this. I'm going to be so goddamn careful. Um, holy crap. It's a two-sided poster as well, so it's like, what the hell do you do? I mean, I know which one I would hang. Um, uh, I believe this is Maria Moskowitz. That's who... Oh, can you even frame posters this big? I'm going to unfold it, then I'll show you guys. My, I know this picture. I've seen it because I've been, I've been stalking the single for a good portion of my, my life. Um, oh, my God. Actually, it's not even as big as this one, so that's fine. Uh... Can you get pictures this big framed? I don't know. So, I hope you can... I'm going to lift this up for you. This is massive. It's a massive fucking poster. So, this is my my new PJ Harvey poster. I just love the composition here. I love that she's in the mirror. And there's Elvis. And it's just so cool. Um, I would have to take a spare room and like flatten this out. But I don't, I don't necessarily know... Um, if I'm going to do that, I just can't even believe it. But, um, so the other side, the other side is the single cover. Um, there it is. I actually have a poster of this. It's one of my only surviving PJ Harvey posters. Again, I've had trouble keeping PJ Harvey posters besides the one that you see behind us already. I've had cats, like, tear them off the walls. I actually have this one really great one where she was, um... It's like her drinking a, something on stage, like taking a break, taking a breather, uh, like taking like just, and you know, she's just um, like by the crowd and uh, it's just from the back. And my cat actually went up to the poster with his paw and just, how crazy is that? Like why, why, why would you do that? Um, so now I've got this. I do, I feel like this is so crazy. I've always wanted this. This is something that I've always, 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 always wanted and never thought I'd own because it was just always too expensive. And somehow at like three in the morning on eBay, I managed to score it for $20. And, uh, but yeah, um, I would sit here and talk about PJ Harvey's music, but if you're listening to this, if you care about this, you probably know her music pretty well. Um, and you don't need me to talk about it, but uh, that's that's really about it. I just wanted to get this unveiling on video because wow, how how special. But yeah, this is um this is intense. But it's not quite as obnoxiously big as I thought it was going to be. I'm actually kind of relieved because I feel like I could get this framed conceivably. I actually like this shelf here. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's it. I, uh, this is probably a shorter video than I'm, I'm usually making. Maybe not. I don't know. I lose all track of time when I'm doing these things. But um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this, this PJ Harvey-centric installment of I Like It Hard. And uh, for the 12 of you who are watching, thanks. I really appreciate it. It's, it's kind of fun. I'm just doing this for funsies and for my own, you know, my own amusement. <laughs> um, that's it.
If you haven't heard of this lady, go to check her out. She's pretty great. Maybe someday I'll do a review of like my giant Holly Harvey stack, but I just don't have time to do that. As you can hear, people are already calling me. But thanks if you're watching, and if you're not, then you won't hear this. Bye!